All right, Dan, we're live. Um, Dude. This is like a special edition, I guess, of the community conversation because it's a it's going to be a full conversation, and this is the only time we've had a repeat guest on the community conversation. So I'm super fired up about that having Dan McCarthy on here, and um, you know, just so you yeah, guys know, kid. yes, <laughs> just so you guys know that are listening. Um, you know, we do these community conversations on a weekly basis. We also have a nutrition. Uh, episode that Sam and coach John do as well. Um, but what we're like discussing today is our annual member, uh, community member holiday party. So last year, obviously with COVID, um, we pivoted and moved everything to a virtual model. We had like a virtual party. It was fun. Everyone dressed up and we had a bunch of people on zoom. We did awards and all that stuff. So this year it's, it's great because we're going to be bringing everyone back in and having that celebration in person. Um, so the date is going to be, what is the date? It's like January, it's January 29th. So January 29th, 29th, Saturday, January 29th. If you're listening to this right now, you're the first ones to hear the date. We just started planning this, nice. um, last week. And, uh, Dan and I are just going to literally spitball back and forth, like some ideas and what we have. And then the last thing that I want to say is, um, you know, over the last, like several events, um, we've been really leaning into this whole concept and idea of you know, member led initiatives here at prototype. And it's been really interesting. And it's, I guess, kind of experimental. You know, we have the 24 heroes in 24 hours, which, you know, Mark Dirienzo kind of took the lead on. And it was by far our best, our best 24 heroes in 24 hours. And Dan, you were a huge part of that too, kind of coming in, cooking for people and just being the man that you are and doing no, all no, awesome no. stuff. I just, and- want, I just wanted to be around everybody. I mean, I could have done that for fucking 36 hours. I couldn't make the first, sorry, I swear too much. I couldn't make the first bit because I was doing a, a tree climbing class. I was teaching guys how to climb trees. Anyway, I, I could have done that. That was easy peasy for me. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do one workout, but I loved it. Oh my God, I loved it. Well, it was, do you remember what I said to you about that tree climbing class? You should have just made a YouTube video on how to climb the trees and then just sent it over to the guys and told them that you were going <laughs> to you know, work out the rest of the day. But you, know, you didn't take me up on that advice. Maybe- Maybe next, maybe next year. But um, so we, we, we kind of tinkered around a little bit with the 24 heroes in 24 hours. Um, you know, recently, actually, as of this week, you know, Jean Hanks, she kind of took the lead on doing this really yes, cool kind of did. coach appreciation um, thing, which was really cool. I, I actually just got my, my gift bag. It's actually right here. I haven't looked at anything yet. But uh, she made little gift bags for every single one of the coaches. And, you know, members had the opportunity to kind of write little special notes uh, for every coach. And that was on, uh, on Tuesday. So that was really cool. And, so I haven't read mine yet, so I'm not going to read them now because I know I'm going to get all, all teared up and stuff. I'm a, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker sure. like that. But um, but yeah, so I mean, like now leaning into our um, our holiday party, like we're going to collaborate and kind of talk a little bit about like what our what our thoughts are and what we want to do. And if you guys are listening to this, we'd love your feedback and any other thoughts you have. But uh, but Dan, what is your vision of the productive holiday party? If you like yeah. do whatever you oh wanted God. to do, and by the way, I'm just just putting this out there. This well, does not mean this does not mean that this is what we're I doing, but. But, yeah. but Dan, what, what would you want to do? Oh my God. All right. So, so let, side note, this is my, the best part of planning a party, just throwing shit out there and seeing, you know, like best case scenario, could we do this? So, all right. So what kind of party is it? It's a party. Are you giving out awards? Giving out awards? Uh, so uh, could we do... Um, ask like dress up like black tie-ish dress up like that like do we give out a like uh, envelopes have uh like members come up and present you know like they do at the oscars where like you know like people that are releasing a movie and they're like anyway they, they have stupid banter and they say and now they, whatever what do you think of that have oh, members! Th- I'm, 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 I'm all in on that. That I'm, sounds I'm awesome. All in on it. Done. Uh, yeah. That sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah, I like awesome. black tie right. black member tie. present the awards, but like, um, talk, um, so, but like, so before we get like tactical, like, I want you to. I know. I feel like I hit. There's a little echo going on. By the way. Ah, uh, it happens. It happens. Should I call you back? No, well, it does. It's you like, can't really call me back. We're on like record here. So we're yeah. doing live How podcasts. Dan, Dan is in his car. I'm, I'm in the office at the gym. Dan is driving fast, very reckless. I think that if you're not watching this on YouTube right now, his, his phone is like behind his steering wheel. 
So you can see his face. I don't even know where he must be sitting at, like setting it like in front of his odometer. So you can't even see how fast exactly. he's going. Yep. So yeah. So, uh, so, so yeah, yeah, but like, but Dan, like paint the picture, like what would be like your ideal party, like the ideal prototype party, like the feeling, less of the tactical, but like the feeling, like what would it, what, what would you envision it being like? Oh my God. All right. So ideal, uh, past hors d'oeuvres. If we're going to eat something, hire a kid and they can walk around. We can socialize if we're doing it. Uh, are we doing it at the gym? Does like, or like, we're like best case scenario. Best case scenario. Best case what would be the ideal? Scenario. Holiday party. All right, I think we're I think we're losing Dan. Oh jeez, we did. Gonna be good food. Got um, sweet. No. No. Ow! Ow! <laughs> How about now? You got me. I can hear. Yes. I can hear you now. We might we might have to do a take two on this. I'm just saying, but uh. But but you it, you, 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 you kind of cut out. But this is li- this is we're, this is live. Well, not live, but you're you're getting recorded this right now. This is- so, uh, so where we cut out? Uh, gotta be music, booze, food. Uh, dance floor is must. Dance floor. Dance floor. Dance floor. Totally. Are we uh, kids? No kids. So again, like, so again, like paint the picture paint for the me. Picture. You're, you're into the mind of Dan McCarthy. Of Dan. <laughs> Yikes. All right. So, all right, let's do this. Let's have it at the gym. We're having it at the gym. So, like, now I got to think about, like, do people want to be inside, outside? Do we have, like, a beer garden thing? Like, set up lights. Have, if it's, like, in January 29th, have, like, fire pits out in the parking lot. Having, like, hot toddies and, like, <laughs> like cold weather drinks. <laughs> Where uh, people can hang out outside if they're like kind of COVID-ish, like COVID a bit freaky, they, like they can stay out there and they can see the party inside. We can, like, yes, music out there, music inside. Uh, yeah, do we have it. two dance floors? I love where your head goes, floor. right? Like, go. you go, you go black tie, <laughs> past hors d'oeuvres, then you go beer garden, fire beer pit garden. outside. Like, I mean, in, in my mind, two completely different like vibes, but you're kind of mingling them. Then you got dance floor. I love it. Yes. So like you can totally like out. So I'm thinking like black tie, like old style, you know, like the little mufflers where the chicks put their, their hands in the things and they'd be all dressed and they're like their long coats and their earmuffs outside, like skating with like the figure skating. Like that's like, that's like dress up like shit i'm about to get lost um yeah no i'm good and uh yeah like what do you think of that we could do like if it's at night and it's in the winter we could have like ice sculptures what snowman (laughs) totally i got the ice sculptures i I like that we used to do um which we can't do uh, anymore because of covid but the uh we used to do ice luges yes we can't do that though yeah do that though you know? Yeah, that'd be a little weird. Like, uh-huh. it could like the the temp. Yeah, it's, I was gonna have ice luges because Brennan she or yeah, Brennan wanted the uh, ice luges at the party that he didn't come to, and mm. uh, I, I was ready to go. But then I thought, you know, when you put your mouth up to the luge, it's like there's a lot of COVID ishness. That's not well. That's why. Yeah, that's why we can't do ice luge. One hundred percent. Right. 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 But um, I like the idea of the ice sculptures. Like we got the outside vibe. We got the inside vibe. You know, we got the uh, dance floor vibe, dance floor music. Vibe. So we're going to have a DJ, 100%. We already hired yes. a DJ. Love it. Love it. Uh, we hired a bartender. Hired a bartender. Hey, now. And we got a popcorn machine. Pop- Love it. And so there's like the movie, the, like, like the, the smell of the popcorn the, will really give like a movie award vibe yeah so we yeah. Well, the so intention we, was the intention thought was, was we always we wouldn't have we don't necessarily have to do the popcorn sure. thing but, okay. but the idea would be to be able to have a movie night a for movie the night. kids yeah. in the back while back. the parents yeah. are being able to like hang out right and we'll have like sure. we talk we have some like the older kids kind of like you know chaperone or kind of like hang out and watch the kids um in the back and then we have like stuff going on but you know i I don't know the timing on that how long do kids stay out for like parents bring them home like all that sort of stuff what are your thoughts on that Uh, i mean i love our kids like i love our kids 
but they can kind of be an anchor. They can kind of screw up the work because I don't want to lose any attendees because they got to like, you know, punch the clock and become, you know, parent again. And I got to bring my kid home. Mm. I really think save the date, line your babysitter up, take care of your cuties. This is your turn. This is, this is, this is going to be all about you guys. It's all adults. And, uh, I think so. I okay. think so. Cool. And because the thing is, if there was a movie, if there's a movie being played and the kids are kind of plugged in, that's cool. But like, again, I like music, music, music. Like we're, we're socializing, mingling. There's, there should be two play. There should be two playlists, the dance floor playlist and the mingling playlist. But music is imperative. The da- so we got the, yeah, uh, so we, we got, got the DJ. The, uh, we got the DJ. We, right, right. So he would de- like, 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 uh, yeah. Having like a background soundtrack to people hanging out, mm-hmm. I think is kind of, kind of key. I think that's key. So if I had my way, I would adults only or like members only. Like if the kids, if they're like, yeah. So we want to make it inclusive. So we want, so we want, so we want right. members, their, their family, yeah. like their yeah. spouses, yeah. Like, spouses yeah. like the idea was to bring like the kids for the idea, like kids, have everyone like, integrated in here, but integrated. you're you're thinking that might not work. <laughs> so work, so. think on that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because like, yeah. Yeah, because some, some, because some parents have like real young kids and that they're definitely gonna have to like punch the clock and be like, oh, it's their bedtime, we gotta go. And I don't wanna lose, I don't want, like, I don't wanna lose Shauna. I don't wanna lose Jerry. I don't want them to like have to leave. Yeah, it's true, yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Mm. No, no, it's good thoughts, no, no, it's, it's good, good thoughts. thoughts. It's good thoughts. What yeah, else, Dan? Kind of if we could do whatever, if we could do whatever you wanted. Uh, Unlimited budget, do whatever you want. Uh, like so, I immediately. So, I, <laughs> so Dan, I refer this. So I call this um, exploring the edges. I learned that from um, these guys at Next Jump. So like literally explore the edges, like as far as you can go. Unlimited budget. Oh my god, anything. Like so, I'm I'm really big on dance. I, I've never done it, but I've always kind of thought it'd be cool, like a foam party, like have a giant foam machine party. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know. Like that's that's that's. Yeah, can we make this a rave? I know there's so many people that don't really dig that kind of music, but uh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> well, no, I was just saying no. Well, like no, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think I, that many I, people, I dig, think it. people dig it. Especially as you, uh, as much as you. Yeah, but but yeah. sorry. Right. Explore the edges. Come on, keep edges. going. Come on. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, so food, food. Like, what makes the party? Uh, oh, like. Could we like really get into it and like get costume? Not like like period, get like period-ish, like like old style Hollywood. Like if we're gonna embrace the the mufflers and the cold and the the like the hanging out outside and a classic, you know, that could we like dress up? All right, it's like uh prohibition. Could you make a game? Oh, I love games. I love games at at parties. What what kind of yeah. game? What kind of game? Um, well, anything that in, in like is inclusive, it, it, it spurs conversation. It spurs like, cause it's like everybody comes in and they will always gravitate towards their click and that's, there's nothing wrong, right or wrong or anything, but it's just a fact. That's just the way it is, but it's something to like facilitate discussion and, uh, a game what, like this one, um, uh, like a mystery game, but that's that takes a lot of coordination. That's a lot. That's like, uh, yeah. You ever done that? Like an escape room type of thing? No, never. No, never. No, like escape rooms are fun, but it's not like you know, like a murder mystery type of thing. But then now we're going away from the whole like, uh, why are we there? We're there. We are there to celebrate the members. We're there to celebrate the year because it's like year in review. So. I'm like, we got to do like a slideshow. Hundred percent, Dan. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, can, can you, you, favor? Can you turn off your uh, turn video off your, uh, and just video put your audio on, maybe to your, audio, to your to your ear? Because I'm getting a lot of echo. Get a lot of echo. Son of a, I'm wicked. Sorry. All right, I'm plugging in this. Doing that. I'm unplugging you. How do I? All right. How do I? 
Just um, switch the audio to your AirPods. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, ear pods. I got to turn that off. How about I, now? I can Is hear that better? you. I can hear you. No echo. Better? This is way better. <clears throat> should have done this so, the entire time. Now we're like 18 uh, minutes in. Uh, should we start over? <laughs> no, nah, we can just keep going. We can keep going. This is Go good. On. The ones that are in it, the ones that are in it, like this is this raw, uncut. This is like what a meeting of the minds is is like with Dan McCarthy. It's sitting there, oh, going back and oh, forth, just, feedback, just all over the all over the place. Like it doesn't matter. But I yeah. like I look at the slideshow. I like the idea of the slideshow. Um, yeah, I, I like the idea of can it, can video I, pictures. Can I what totally was that? Pick, yes. Uh, yeah, can I reveal that I finished the slideshow? I've, <laughs> I think I you've already. I think you've already. Like, I think you've already revealed can it. I, can I reveal that I've seen the slideshow like fifty times? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I, li- I like when you ask for permission if you can reveal something, and it's like <laughs> it's all live and raw, un- and re- recorded. So you, you don't have to ask for permission because you just did it. So, but yes, a hundred percent. So if you're listening still you, after were, all did this, you want, yeah. like Dan has made this already made, like the idea is to do a slideshow. He's already made the slideshow. Um, it's awesome. And if you oh, know Dan, it's, so it's, 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 it's synced with music and it's got all these fun things. And I think everyone in the community is included yeah, in the slideshow. You, so. Which I is awesome. So. But like, and now we got to pump the brakes on that because we don't want to, we don't want to hype it up too much. Cause then they're going to be like, ah, I mean, it's good, but I've seen all these pictures or whatever, but uh, yeah, no. Okay, cool. So uh, we got to do that. So what else, how else can you commemorate the year? How else can you commemorate the year? Uh, we got to go decorations all over the gym. How else can you, what? It, oh, dude, totally. So uh, do we, so I'm thinking like drapes. I'm thinking drapes, like uh, curtains, like uh, like a theater. You know how like they pull the curtain back, do that. But the thing is, we can't put that across the windows because the, the beer garden people outside with their mufflers in front of the fire pits are not going to see in. So that that that's a. It, it might be tough. It might we we might have to like make a make a decision to you know do one or the other um, in that event. But you know, it's not the end of the world. So you still make it work. You still make it work. Are you still there, Dan? All right, we might have lost Dan for just a, a minute. Again, he's in his uh <laughs> he's in his car. Um, and he's kind of he's all over the place. So I don't know if he's got a bad reception or not. But basically, uh, and now it's just me. We'll see if Dan comes back in. But basically, uh this party is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, we always do our member awards at the party, as like Dan mentioned. Um, this whole idea, this this idea of our members presenting the awards, just like they do at the what, the Golden Globes. Other people kind of come up and present and give the awards uh, to someone else. Um, maybe it's the person, the, the last winner. I don't know. We'll figure all that stuff out. But basically, um, I don't think, I don't even know if Dan's even going to get back in on this call. So I'll I'll kind of keep it quick here. But basically, the party, the holiday party, is Saturday. January 29th. Oh, here's Danny's back. January 29th, Saturday, January 29th is when the party is going to be. It's going to be awesome. Make sure you're throwing it in your calendar. This is, like I said, raw, uncut. I, I don't care that it's raw, uncut, and not filtered. I think too many podcasts and stuff like this is too, like, boiled down. So if you want to know what a real conversation sounds like, this is a real conversation. But Danny, I was just, I was going to, I was going to wrap it up because I didn't know if you were going to come back in. I see you. But I was just letting everyone know, reminding them, January 29th, Saturday, January 29th, oh my God. 6 p.m. is when the party's going to start. It's going to be at Dude, Prototype. I had such good ideas. I had such good ideas. Where'd you, where did I drop out? Uh, last thing we were talking about was the slideshow. And oh uh, so I, yeah. I've got so many good ideas. So we, I also think drapes, curtains. Yeah, we talked curtains, drapes, like, yep, drapes, know, curtains. Yep, yep, yep. Around the, the beer garden? Mm-hmm. Around the beer garden. So Yeah, you saw that. All right, all right. Yep. All right. Yeah, those are right, those are good, but um, props, red velvet rope, red paparazzi. velvet rope, red pop. Well, we got to get the paparazzi there. So you got you're we'll have to contact the the local newspaper. You know the community advocate. Shout out to the community advocate, oh, the really? Westboro Patch. 
you know, lo the yeah. local, the local Westboro TV. Shout out to all those huh. locals. Can we do that? They'll do it. They'll do that. I, they don't I, got nothing to do. I guess we can. But we got all the raw stuff here. I got a lot of notes. So what we're going to have to do is start to like uh, start breaking down what we're going to actually do and then make those decisions. But and we need help. We need help. We definitely need help. We're going to have to try to get a committee. So if you guys are listening, uh, I'm sure Dan's going gonna, Dan's gonna to help recruit, but we're going to get like a, totally. what I envision is like a little member committee all kind of getting together and putting this party on. Um, yes. Food, food um, you know, we can definitely get our door or doors as options for like potluck style. People bring your, whatever you want to do, bring food. We will have a bartender, food, drinks, all that sort of stuff you want. But if you want to bring stuff, I think you'd be able to bring stuff. But, um, you know, it's, it's like, personally, it's like a community type thing. People like bringing stuff. But no, nah, what are your totally. thoughts? No, what are your thoughts? All right, personally, I would save money on the bartender, have booze, because like no one's gonna be stealing, stealing it. It's just like serve your own. Like, what do you like? Like, boom. Like, no, like I don't need a mixologist to pour, you know. I would save money on the the bartender and put it towards the budget for the food. The bartender, the, bar, the bartender is interesting though, because it's a local bartender. It's Debbie Wong's dad, David Wong, who's like the famous bartender in town here, makes the world famous yeah. Mai Tais. Oh. And, uh, you know, you know, what, what, what you know, the, the decisions hey. haven't been a hundred percent made, so we can, we can still right. kind of iterate. He's probably not going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can still uh, think around. All right. Who, all right. Here's the nuts and bolts. If it's potluck and it's not catered, who's going to be like, man, like, no, I don't want to work it. I'll, I'll think this thing up, but I nah, don't you don't, you don't need to work the food. We, we can bring, get food, bring out, throw it on tables. People can go around, serve themselves. They can, right. our dinner can so, make them drinks, kind of hang out, you know, all so that for, stuff. for the party, the, the party that you blow off at my place. Um, we hired like two high school chicks that like, you know, restock the booze, restock, like the, when, if the ice was empty or whatever, insanely helpful, super cheap money like yeah uh, maybe we gotta maybe like, we gotta use your we gotta use your network dan we gotta use your network dan. i'm i'm down charlie brown like i'm i'm in it all right i'm well, in we, it we got some raw planning down here we got to make some um make some decisions monday yes. monday is typically our strategy day so maybe we'll revisit this on on monday and we'll get the uh, committee together but uh yeah. But yeah, am we're, I too we're, intense? Am I too intense right now? I'm sorry. No, you're I'm never totally too. In, you're never. You're never too intense. You're never too intense. Only when you're listening to uh, Above and Beyond. Oh no way, dude! Dude, it's three weeks. The, the no, it's four weeks. December twenty seventh in Boston. They're gonna be here. So dude, I'm talking about. I'll come. December twenty. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with you. I got nothing going Bro, on. It's nights. It's a Monday night. Monday night. Well, it's a Monday. A Monday night. Come night. on. Mondays are tough, but if Aaron, <laughs> here's my thing. If Aaron is like, let's go, if Aaron's let's into go. It, then, uh, then, then I'm there with you. And if, and if I don't go, I expect a FaceTime call from you um, oh to show me what it's all about. But that's my the way. Coach, I can totally do that. I'll totally do that. <laughs> I, I assume you'll totally stream it live in the face, Facebook group too. I, 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 uh, I don't know what the, the, the general consensus of, yeah, I kind of like, I'm too, I'm in it too much. I'm, in, I'm on it too much. I like, I feel like, oh, there's Dan again. Uh, turn that fucking thing off already. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you got to realize our, our house is your house. You can do whatever you want. Just, just, yeah. don't, just don't, you know, the only rule is don't be an asshole. You know what no I mean? Way, dude, no way. That's the only rule. Don't be an asshole. And you're not an, an, asshole. an asshole. So you can go in the group, whatever, however much you want. You want to do live videos. You want to Come in here and yell at people. You want to have fun? I don't care. Just have fun. Cool. What's all about? It's all about community. It's the uh, the idea of like our, our family, one community. That's what it's all about, right? right? I love it, dude. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, this is cool. You guys are listening. If you're still listening, this if is the these listening. are the conversations that Dan and I have about stuff, and they go yes. exactly like this every single time. So I'm glad that you guys got to uh, got to uh, listen in on our our little our mind mapping session, but. Again, the party is on Saturday, January 29th. It's going to start yeah, around, probably around 6-ish p.m. The details aren't confirmed yet, but we do have our member awards. So you guys will be seeing some nomination stuff for that coming out soon. Nice. We, have our, we also have our Committed Club Award, which is like... So, you know, all the folks that um, you know, do more than 15 workouts in a month, you know, we highlight them on like social media. So at the end of the year, we pick randomly from a hat, like the person like, you know, so again, if you, if you are on the committed, um, you know, the committed club all, for all 12 months, you would have 12 yeah. nominations in the, in the yeah. hat. 
right? Sure. So the more yeah. you're committed, the higher probability that sure, sure. you are going to get picked, right? If you're only in there, well, well yeah. you still have a chance, but you have a very less likely chance than if, you know, the folks that have like sure. 12. So anyway, sure, sure, at sure. the end of the uh, year, we pick a committed club winner and they will, this will be our first committed club winner ever. So uh, it's going to be pretty special. And you're uh, make like a trophy cup, like a trophy will, cup that like, it will be pretty, like, it'll be pretty special. Yes. So it'll be pretty special. And uh, they'll be the first of the year. And it's a one year. It's basically, it should be the, it's the greatest award of the night because it's, it's not sourced by the community. It's sourced by your effort, your, um, you know, you being, you know, just a committed person like in the community and everyone who's in the committed club, even if you, have, you only were there once, uh, has the opportunity to uh, to to win it. It's all at random draw. So it should yeah, be. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. If I only got one month of committedness, my one entry could not compare to Lisa's twelve entries that she will have. It's true. There's no way I'm more committed than Lisa. And I'm just using her as an example. The, there is that equal. Like, op there, there is that equal opportunity, though. It's not so equal. So it's like, so that it is the greatest award, but like. The greatest award of chance. It, sure, sure. Of karma. It's all about karma. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do it different. Maybe we'll do it different. You know, now you got me, now you got me thinking after I just said it's the greatest award. Uh, hey, well, so it's, it's the, it's the big, it's, a, it's the greatest achievement. The greatest achievement. Uh, it is so. I'm, I'm thinking also like if you had a cup and then every year like a new a new uh, name is added and they get to bring it home and eat cereal out of it, but then they have to bring it back to the the uh, cereal out the of gym. it. And then why is it, always, why is it always cereal? Why isn't it like pasta? You know what I mean? Can you do pasta or like macaroni and cheese? You can do cereal. Yeah, yeah, sure. Drink. You drink beer. Uh, you know, no pasta. Lo lobster ravioli. That's lobster ravioli. You can do lobster ravioli. Um, <laughs> You know, I actually, you got me thinking. Um, what are you thinking? You got you, you got me thinking about this. Uh, the, how we're going to pick the uh, the committed club winner? I think I think I'm going to eat my own words for saying this live on there. Oh. That we might be we might we're be changing. You just got you just got me thinking about stuff. So this is this is the power right of collaboration and yes. ideas and like feedback. I had an idea. You're like, no, right. I don't think that's the right idea. Um, so anyway, you know. Uh, feedback's important. That's why we do our feedback stuff for the gym and for like That's our it. classes and that sort of stuff. So if you're mental listening mapping. to this still, uh, yeah, mental mapping, if you're listening to this still and um, you ever come into any of our classes, you can give all of our coaches or any of our coaches feedback on the classes. It helps us improve. So be candid, give your honest opinion, it gives us more information and data to help you guys get better. Um, and that's just like a, a little plug there. I didn't plan on going there, but I think this was a, that actually just brought up a good point just to this conversation. But, but Danny, I think, um, at this point, we got a lot of good stuff. I mean, any, any closing thoughts? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, we need help. We need help. Like we need help. We need help. We need, we need, we need, we need a committee. I, and I, uh, I think we'll, I think we'll get a committee going for sure. Yeah. I, I think we got some fine folks. I got you throw it, throw a little, uh, throw some folks out there that you want on the committee. I think, you know, I think Jean Hanks would be a good one on the committee. Just throwing her out there. Totally. totally. Who, who the hell else do you uh, think? Let's call him out. Tracy, Tracy Lake. Tracy she Lake. Solid. Oh my God. I like, she's a party girl. She's a party girl. Um, throw it out there. She knows how to throw a party. I've been to our St. Patty's day party. They don't have them anymore. But they used to throw an epic uh, yeah, St. Patty's I, day party. I have never heard of their St. Patrick's day party. I think they stopped doing it in like 2015 or 2016 or something like that. But it was the, oh, so yeah. I got invited. There's Colin and Tracy there. They'd have the parties. And that's how I met, um, uh, kind of met Marty and Lillian and, uh, Tim, oh. Tim Furbish. And so at right. that, that one drunken night, I was able to, uh, corral those folks into the gym. Um, wow. you know, they even gave no me their phone. Way. They even gave me their, they even gave me their phone numbers. I'm sure they didn't expect me to text them on Sunday morning saying, you know, you're committed now. Like we had, we, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Something like that. <laughs> so just throwing that out there, but all right. So we got, we got Tracy Lake. We got, we got Gene. Any other people you'd like to throw into the mix? Uh, well, I mean, like this is, I, I mean, I don't want to force anybody into it, but I just want to say that like, yes, yeah, I am like totally inclusive and like helping or again, like receiving people's help. Like 
hundred percent. And the more people involved, the the better it'll be and the easier it'll be throwing a party because it's all about the details. It is all about the details. It's all about the and, details. Uh, totally, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred ten percent. Let's put it that way. Hundred ten percent. Oh. It's awesome. All right. Well, Dan, I appreciate the conversation. This was a, a fun community conversation because it was just all over right, the place bro. and it was uh, in, in the mind of the place. planning. But, uh, but Danny, I will uh, drive safe. I know you're still driving right now. Totally. totally drive safe. Totally. Just uh, fast. I'm not reckless. Just fast. Just fast. Have a, have a good fast. rest of your day. And I will be right, uh, talking to you soon. You guys that are uh, on still, thank you so much for tuning into this week's community conversation. Best. You guys are the best. We appreciate all you. We love all you. Oh, Andy, can we uh, can we say like a secret code word just to like make sure that the people that were watching know the secret word? Like at the end of the the like. Uh, How about your secret word? Uh, white rabbit. White rabbit. Okay. White rabbit. White the rabbit. Ma- the Matrix. Exactly. There yes. There we go. I got you. All right. The Matrix. All right. All right. Follow the white rabbit. Follow Follow the, this is totally this is a rabbit hole. We've just fell down my head first into a rabbit hole. We did. So uh yeah. All right, cool. 100 percent Well, Danny, <laughs> and I appreciate it. Uh everyone listening, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's community conversation. Peace and we will talk to you out. all next week. Thank you guys. All right. See you guys.